what's going on guys welcome back to another quick tutorial video on how to achieve a glitch effect on a single object using final cut pro 10 you don't need any plugins for this guys uh, first of all you select the video that you want the effect to be on and then you drop it on top of you on your timeline sorry let's make this small then you copy and paste the same video on top of it. The next step is to go to your effects search box and search for draw mask. Then you drop your draw mask on top video. So um, this is where we want the effect to be. So we just click M um, to know exactly where you want the effect to be and then go to your object that you want just the glitch effect to happen on. Just draw around that object. So this time around we just want it to be on um, our brother here doing some lateral races with the dumbbells and this is a quick tutorial so i'm not really gonna go deep to draw it perfectly around him I'm just gonna do a rough sketch around him let's make this small so we can we want the effect to be from this side to this side so gonna press M to make another mark over there. So the next step will be to go to the effect and then search for bad TV effects. And then you drop bad TV effect on the top video. And as you can see, the effect is only on the object that we want it to be on. And we want the effect to be from this mark to this mark so then we'll make use of our keyframes and this is what you do you go back one frame and then you make a keyframe take the amount of the bad tv all the way down and then go one frame forward and then you can make it any way you want it to be and go another frame forward and this time around you bring it down so this is how it looks like guys it's just on here and if you want it if you want to stretch the effect you just go to ctrl v to open our video animation and then you can drag this for the effect to stay long so now this is what we have guys let's wait for it to render and then we'll see how the effect looks like so now this is how the effect looks like just on our object that we wanted and you can see outside him there's nothing being affected by the bad tv effect we put on so there you go guys later on you can drop your color grading and your letterbox to create the cinematic film look that you want and i hope you guys find this helpful if yes don't forget to hit the like button down there and also the subscribe button down there don't forget to drop your comments down below let me know what you think about the video and also what you would like to see in the future on this channel thank you so much it's your boy joey Peace. Where are you going?